Good day traders. By applying the principles I outline in this short educational video, you'll be better prepared than the majority of the competition. This is Mark Lykos. Understand, trading index futures, like any other trading vehicle, is a zero-sum game. Simply put, the players with the best information that know how to use that information and apply it win. Where have the four major market indices been? For reasons I outlined in my earlier video, Why Trade the Index Futures, I play the four major mini indices, the ES Broad Market S&P 500 Index, the NQ NASDAQ 100 Index, the YM Mini Dow Jones Index, and the TF Russell 2000 Index. We want to get to our trading station at least an hour ahead of the regular session open, so we have time to see where the four majors have been throughout the Globex session. That's the evening session. We attempt to get a feel for the pre-market directional strength of the indices we could be playing. We'll want to rate those indices with a strongly bullish or bearish pre-market activity, a slightly bullish or bearish pre-market activity, or just plain flat. We attempt to determine if there's a slightly higher probability move in one direction or the other. We can normally determine all this fairly quickly with a quick glance at the 15-minute intraday charts of the Globex activity in the four major market indices we play. Here's a shot of the ES for 928. I've denoted the previous day's regular session period between the first and second vertical green and red lines. The high, low, and close of that session is denoted there also. The Globex session is illustrated next, showing the session's price action all the way up until the regular session open. We see from this chart the market saw a fairly strong day, falling only slightly into the previous day's close. The Globex session played out very flatly, challenging but holding the closing level until the final two hours where the market took a steep drop, falling well below the previous day's close. Here's the NQ for the same day. We see from this chart the NQ saw a very strong day closing well. The Globex session played out flatly, chopping around the closing level until the final two hours where the market fell off some below the previous day's close. Here's a shot of our third major market indice, the YM for the same day. We see from this chart the YM saw an upside day closing above its open. The Globex session played out flatly, much like the other two uh, earlier indices, chopping around the closing level until the final two hours where the market fell off sharply again, closing below the previous day's low aggressively. Here's the pre-market TF, the Russell 2000. We see from this TF chart it saw an upside day also, closing well above its open. The Globex session played out flatly in little volume, holding the closing level until the final two hours where the market fell off the previous day's close just ahead of the open. Now that we've had a chance to take a look at the four major market indices during the Globex session, can we go back and answer our initial questions? Is there a pre-market bias? Yes, it should be obvious. All the major market indices showed similar price action to the downside. Is it bullish or bearish? Well, this particular action is what we call full consensus downside bias, with all the major market indices heading sharply lower ahead of the morning bell, certainly bearish. Can we rate this bias? Yes, I'd call this very strong, with every one of the major market indices heading lower just ahead of the bell. Guys, to summarize what we've done so far today, we want to evaluate all the major market indices well in advance of market open to see if we could determine the opening bias and then rank that strength strong, slight, or flat. Simple as that. Guys, index futures can be a very profitable market to play when you're prepared. Look for my next trade site educational short where I'll give you some pointers on how to better use this free market information to give you an edge over your competition. Until then, this is Mark Lykos at TradeSite bidding you good trading.